So your politicians keep telling you that they want to build back better. But what does that even mean? Maybe you've heard people talk about a Green New Deal. But what does that really involve? And maybe you've heard people talking about green jobs. What are they? Are they better paid? Are they just green or are they something more? One thing is certain. Green jobs and the green economy are a big deal and they are here to stay. So understanding what all this means in real life is more important than ever. And that's exactly what we've been doing on the Green Jobs Report over the last year. And we have gathered a heap of data. Meanwhile, over that last year, the amount of money flowing into green initiatives and sustainability more broadly has grown dramatically. In 2020, investment in the energy transition rose above 500 billion US dollars globally for the first time, according to data from Bloomberg New Energy Finance. More money is needed, but these are still huge sums. Meanwhile, the net flow of funds into ESG-related investments topped 50 billion US dollars in the United States alone, twice the level seen in 2019 and almost 10 times the level in 2018. And investment managers are asking CEOs about ESG at almost every meeting. Finally, since the start of 2021, the new Biden administration has begun to unveil a broad and bold agenda on climate change and sustainability more broadly. And a host of state and national leaders are talking about building back better. So it's more important than ever to understand the connection between ESG, sustainability, CSR, whatever term you have for it, and however you measure it, and business and financial impact, and the actual impact on the environment and society, and to understand how those impacts on environment and society might flow back into business performance and share price performance, add into risk and resilience over time. The cold, hard truth is that all these risks, and indeed all these opportunities, are already lurking on company balance sheets and embedded in investment portfolios. And if companies fail before they have to deliver on their promises to remediate the land for which they're responsible, for example, the costs all flow back to government and to taxpayers. And action on these issues must all take place somewhere in cities and towns and communities. So understanding what all of this means at a local level is particularly important too. So to learn more, join our monthly Green Jobs Report with our regular guests, Dr. Fidel Kabu, President of the Global Institute for Sustainable Prosperity, Dr. Scott Fulweiler, Associate Professor in Economics at the University of Missouri at Kansas City, and Amir Kalegi, a PhD candidate in economics at the University of Missouri at Kansas City, who has led a lot of our analysis. We're also joined by special guest Lauren Agnew, founder of the Bay Area Impact Investing Initiative, for a deep dive into place-based investing and a preview of her chapter in the new Global Handbook of Impact Investing published by Wiley in 2021. As always, ESGX Live will be down to earth, fact-based and interactive. So if you are joining us live, please do ask questions via the chat and do share a link to this event with your friends. You can just point them to live.esgx.org. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then please do subscribe to the ESGX channel and use the like button. Every time you do, another 10 people hear our guests important messages and perspectives and if you want to look back at previous episodes they're all on our website at esgx.org covering everything from sustainable energy the circular economy and sustainable food systems to the importance of our nature and our oceans to racial justice diversity equity and inclusion and retirement planning with some modern monetary theory and geopolitics thrown in Finally, from me, Nigel Lake in New York, and my co-host, Paul Herman in San Francisco, a sincere thank you to our ongoing sponsors, Pottinger and Hip Investor, thanks to whom ESGX Live is free, open to all, and global. We very much look forward to the discussion.